Yeah, this one was a, this one was a, dude, I, I don't know what the fuck, like, I'm having a hard time. Like, I, I just want to do too many fucking things in this market. Like, there's just too much stuff that I want to do and my attention to like being spread so, so thin. Like, I want to get these, but like, honestly, like, I don't have the screen real estate to do everything that like, I mean, I like trading small caps. That's what I really like to do. That's what I'm comfortable with. It's what, you know, what I've always traded. So it's like now that the hot market's here, I've suffered all the shitty market. I'm, I'm ready like to take advantage of this fun market. But at the same time, it's kind of good everywhere right now. And, you know, I mean, yeah, it's funny. I, I guess I don't have an excuse. I have like six of them. I have like six screens and I still don't have enough screen real estate. You never have enough screen real estate. But um, I mean, yeah, I mean, just mid caps are kind of on fire. Er I mean, we had great earnings season, like. I want to dabble in options. I want to swing. Like, I, I just want to do too many things right now. Like every, the thing is the market's a lot better than it was like a little bit ago. So I want to do like all the stuff. I want to do all the things. I want to buy everything. I want to pay attention to everything. And it's just hard. Like I find myself like jumping, like, oh my God, like someone messed, someone, someone pointed out in video to me. I'm like, what, why was I not even watching it? Like, and what was another one that someone pointed out to me? Um, something else that moved, I forget. And, and I was just like, I just couldn't, I just can't keep up with everything. Everything's on fire. And it's just like, you want to nail it all. And when I say nail it all, I want to long it all. But I can't. <laughs> so I got to pick. Um, anyway, yeah, good stuff. All right, so let's get started. There's enough time for everyone to come in here. Yeah, dude. Um, Good shit in the market. I almost bought Nvidia. Like, I mean, I did. I, I mean, when I say almost bought, like I did buy it, but I didn't have any conviction in it because my, my entry sucked. Like I just, I knew I was late. It was one of those where it's just like, well, maybe I get a freebie and I didn't, you know, like it kind of had a little decision moment here. So I was just like, nope, fail this one. Your entry sucks. And I got in here for a 310 magnet and that's all I was going to get is the 310, but still like if I didn't get any cushion at all from that, I wasn't going to be able to hold. That's just a, such a shit entry. But man, like how awesome, how awesome that would have been. Like, the thing is, it kind of didn't even give a warning too. It's just like, you're coming into the day like this on video. You, the thing, you just had to have been watching it. Like you, you just come into a day like this on NVIDIA. Let's not get today. You know, it doesn't like this, this doesn't just scream something big's gonna happen, right? It's just, it's just all of a sudden, boom, right? So you come in, just come in today. Just, and like you buy here, I mean, you, you look at it here at like 270, you, look, you just look at it here at 270s and you're just like, oh, little pop up to 274. And, you know, it's just, it's not, it's like no one in their right mind. Like, in let, I, I forget, like earnings came out today, right? On NVIDIA. Not sure. It has to have been, right? Uh, or probably not. Your analyst upgrade, that's it. That's fucking it. I mean, I think semiconductors are going a little bit too. So that's kind of part of it. It has to be like just an analyst upgrade. It's just... Ah, uh, yes, that's what they're tying it into that. Yeah, okay. But and still, it's just like, you see this here and you, you're just like, oh, look at a pot at 274. It's not, it's, you, that doesn't scream, oh, better buy it. Right, so, I mean, all of these earnings, are, they're all surprises. Like this was just, this was Monday. You know, you just take, where's the next page? That's next week. Where's the next page I have to click on too? All, right, all of these are just positive, right? A lot of the, most of these are all positive surprises on all of the earnings. And this is what I'm just looking at to get a gauge. But like mostly all of these are positive surprises. You go to the, you know, just almost every single one of them. So I don't know if that's because the estimate, everyone was lowballing it, you know, or not. But I mean, all of these are, uh, you don't see a lot of reds on here, right? So basically everything was kind of, everything kind of beat, beat expectations, right? I mean, ignore these outliers, like 3,200% and the minus 500, like forget those, it's the regular ones. I mean, all of these are positive. So, and, and you can look back in the previous week, they're all pretty much positive. So 
Yeah, I, again, I don't know if it's just everyone was lowballing and just like expecting doom, but you know, if the expectations were artificially low, that could, you know, then we're kind of getting an artificial kind of high, you know, an artificial kind of push, and it's going to take a couple of weeks before reality sits in. Maybe that's what's going on here because you know, right now the, you know, right now, uh, the I mean, spies pushing to all time highs with just with vigor and you know, not looking back and. So we'll see, like, if, you know, like if, cause these don't, you know, like if, if analysts kind of estimates and shit, right. That's something that like, you know, like if they were low balled estimates, that's something that the market's not going to figure out for a while because people are just going to be like, Oh, beat the estimate. So let's buy. Right. So that's, that's something that's going to take a while. You know, that's more of a delayed reaction. So maybe that's what it is. You know, I really like, I'm not really that into being that much of a fundamental trader, or especially with large caps, but um, I'm sure there are some people that are just looking into that. So, you know, I'm just going to play ignorant to that, but uh, let's assume that they're not low ball. This is really good earnings, right? I mean, literally just, we blew earnings out of the water. So um, that, and that's, that's what I'm talking about here. When last week and I was, or a couple of weeks when I was talking about how, like, if we push through this, um, and we just spike to new highs, then there's then there's kind of like a potential for us to be at a confidenceless high, uh, and and that would be the case if not for this kind of backbone that we've got, right? So small caps broke out, you know, the uh, small caps broke out of their um, their range that they've fucking been in forever. So small caps just broke out. Uh, we've seen, like I just showed, really strong earnings across the board. And, you know, that together is kind of providing some, you know, some kind of backbone to this straight up vertical move that we got on the SPY back to all time highs. And not only two all time highs, but we push and push strong green day after strong green day, no pullback. You know, that can provide the backbone for it. Like when I, you know, when we were kind of like in the midst of summer and fall, kind of, you know, like where it's kind of like boring time and, and you know, not exciting earning time. Uh, then you kind of look at the chart more for technical reasons, like, oh, why should the spy do this? Why should the spy do that? You know, it becomes more of a technical game. But when you know you get something fundamentally fundamental that changes, like good earnings across the board, you kind of don't, you know, that provides a that provides a new. Um, I don't want to use the word backbone again, but it pr provides a new um, justification or reason for um like another way to move the market like you know this doesn't you know this technically looks extended as fuck but you know we have a reason to be extended as fuck so it's okay 